So for around 30 years, this soil has been farmed with a conventional agricultural system. And I think what's really interesting is that when you start looking at a farming system, the most important capital asset that we've got is the soil. And what's really interesting here is that this soil has been farmed with continuous corn for the best part of 30 years. Hmm, it's got a bit of a smell to it, but just look at the structure of this soil. This soil has been farmed the same way for so long and it just falls apart. There's no earthworms in the soil. To me, there doesn't seem to be a lot of life in this soil. And this is the soil that we grow our food in. So if we're gonna build soil fertility, what might it look like? Well, here's an example. This is complex farming. So here we have soil that's been put down to a fertility building lay. It contains 17 different plant species, all really deep rooting. We've got grasses, clovers, herbs. And these plants are what builds our fertility on this farm. Our sheep love them. They're the healthiest sheep you'll ever meet. But what's better than that is the fact that when these sheep have eaten these deep, lovely deep rooting plants, they deposit minerals onto the soil. Then after we plough this up and plant our cash crops like wheat, for example, to make bread with, there's loads of minerals that eventually get into our food. This is diversity. And as you can see, it's very difficult to get out because it has a really complex root structure. And these complex roots make minerals available in the soil and the minerals eventually get transferred to our food. But look, this soil holds together. It doesn't fall apart like the other. Just look at these lovely worms in this soil. Completely different to our monoculture that we looked at earlier on. The lovely holes that have been left through the soil. And if there's loads of spaces between the particles of soil, we can hold loads of water as well. Smells great, quite a strong smell. It's healthy and it's just teeming with life, as you can see. And this is what regenerative farming is all about.